Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a sinusoidal regression in Desmos. To create my regression, the first thing I need is a scatter plot and a table to go along with it. So I'm going to go to the top left hand corner and hit the plus button and I'm going to click on table option number three. I'm going to put all the X values under the X1 column. My X values are going to be 1 through 12. So I'm going to go all the way down to 12. And then for my Y values, I'm going to put in the Y values that the question gives me. 45, 49, 53, 59, 65, 73, 78, 76, 71, 63, 53, and the last one is 45. Make sure that your X and Y columns match up in terms of how many numbers you have. Now, since I can't see the dots right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this magnifying glass at the bottom of the box called Zoom Fit. And that's gonna bring all the dots into my window. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click in box two and I'm gonna start my sign graph. So to do this, I'm gonna to need to use the keypad. So at the bottom where it says show keypad, I'm gonna click that. And I'm going to click on Y and then a one. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna automatically make that one into a subscript for the Y. Now I need my regression symbol, which is a squiggly line called the tilde. To get that, I'm gonna click on ABC at the bottom. And then on the bottom row, you'll see the squiggly line right here next to the comma. I'm gonna click that once. The next thing that I need is I need to make my sine equation. So I'm gonna be using A plus B. Now I need my sine function. So I'm gonna go over to functions, click that. And then under trig, I'm going to choose sine at the top. Now inside the parentheses, I'm gonna have C. So I need a lowercase c. And now I need x1. So I'm gonna click the variable x and then a one. So that x is gonna automatically have a subscript of one. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add D inside parentheses. And then I'm gonna close those parentheses up. So this is gonna be my sign graph. And what I can do now is I can hit the keypad right here. That's gonna hide the keypad. Now, how well the sign graph is going to align with the dots is gonna be given by the R squared under statistics right here. And here, my R squared value is gonna be 0 0.9822. That's fairly close to one. So you know this is gonna be a good regression for our scatter plot. Over here under residuals, I'm gonna have all the error terms. That's what the E stands for. And I'm gonna hit the plot button right here to show the error dots. Now I can't see the error dots right now, but if I click the zoom fit button on the bottom of box one, it'll show all the error terms at the bottom near the X axis. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna be able to make predictions based on what the X value is gonna be. And I wanna predict what happens when X is 1.5 or one and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on box three and I'm going to create my regression function. Now for a function, you're gonna to wanna to use function notation. I'm going to use F of X equals and now I'm just gonna follow the blueprint that I have right here. The only thing different is I'm just gonna replace the A, B, C, and D with the actual parameters that it gives me at the bottom. So my A is gonna be 61.238. I'm gonna add that to B, which is 15.8543. And now I need sine. Inside parentheses, I'm gonna have CX. C is gonna be 0 0.538154. And then I'm gonna put an X beside that. And then the last thing I need to do is add D. 
that's going to be minus 2.29369. And then I'm going to close up the parentheses. So now clicking in box four, I can now see what my regression function is going to look like. And now what I want to do is I want to predict what Y is when X is 1.5. Following teachers, please report to the main office. Ms. Motley, Ms. Cheryl Ferguson, Ms. Forrest, Ms. Jessica Saunders, Ms. Melanie Saunders, Mr. Prashida, Ms. Lopez, please report to the main office. Okay, so now I'm going to let X be 1.5, and when I do that, I get 45.44005 and some more decimal places, but I'm going to round that to the nearest whole number, which would be 45. So that's how you do a sinusoidal regression.